Hi everyone, today I would like to show you another design team project for the Wild Bunch, the Wild Orchid Crafts YouTube design team. And this time I created a configuration box and it looked like this before. It's a wooden heart tray and I altered it using the beautiful flowers from Wild Orchid Crafts and I will show you the products that I used first. Um, I will put all the links to Wild Orchid Crafts in the description box below as well as all the links to the products that I've used. So I use these beautiful roses and they come in this set. It is the Mix Flower Set B and the product code is MKX-598. So I used a few of those and I also used some of these beautiful roses they are the 25 millimeter ones and they come in a pack like this they are from the mixed flowers set C and the product code is MKX-600 and I also used some of the open roses the 25 millimeter ones and I also used a few of these these are the 15 millimeter open roses and these both come in this pack they are from the mixed size open roses and the product code is MKX-599 so this is my configuration box and it came without the compartments so I created my own compartments and I painted the wooden tray black first and then I adhered my papers down and I used the Prima engraver paper line and I adhered the chain I used some of those small eye screws to adhere the chain and I uh, lined the box, the outside of the box with the rosette trim and here I have two of the 25 millimeter open roses and I colored them with my homemade spray and I went over it with gesso mixed with sand and here is the beautiful large rose that I showed you and it came in white and I used some distress ink and some homemade glimmer spray to color this one up and here are the 25 millimeter open roses and here are the 15 millimeter ones and I colored them with my homemade uh, glimmer spray so those are the flowers that I used on top and I lined the box with some trim from my stash all the way around and I will show you the little charm that I created I used some beads from my stash and this charm and I kind of created the same cluster of flowers here as I did on top of this box so I used the larger rose again and the 25 millimeter open roses and the 15 millimeter open roses here and then I have some hard trim from my stash and some flat back pearl trim and I adhered a spoon in the center here and I found it at the Salvation Army and I have another 25 millimeter open rose and here's another one and I left this one uh, white and a 15 millimeter open rose and this is a game piece and I covered it with the paper from the collection and this is a large button from my stash and I also adhered some paper from the collection and I used a scrabble piece with some lace from my stash and here's another 25 millimeter open rose and some 15 millimeter open roses and here I have a pair of glasses that I found at the flea market with a feather and here's a dice and here's another one of the beautiful large roses and I colored this one with my homemade spray as well and 
I lined all the boxes with the paper from the collection. So here's an here's a compartment and here's one as well. And here's another one. So I created five compartments. And this is a wooden spool with some lace from my stash. And on top of it is another 15 millimeter open rose. And I have some beautiful cotton lace here and some flat back pearl trim. And I fussy cut this pocket watch from the collection and I adhered it on some black cardstock to make it more sturdy. And this is a gear that I uh, used my Tim Holtz die to create this one. And I have a bobbin on top of, the, of it. And here's a little bicycle light. And here are some more beautiful roses. This is the 25mm open rose and the 15mm open rose. And this is a wood veneer butterfly from my stash and I adhered some flat back pearls. And I also adhered some chain to this pocket watch. And it goes this way underneath the flowers and then into this corked vial. And here's another 25mm open rose and this is a large rose again. And this is one of the 25mm wild roses. So, and here I have a corked file with some pearls and some chain inside and I fussy cut this little image from the paper collection and I went over everything with a little bit of gesso mixed with sand to give it some texture. Yeah, this is my configuration box and I really like the color combination. Oh, I had a lot of fun coloring all these flowers, they were all white originally and I really love the fact that I can color them in any color that I like. And like I said, I will put all the links in the description box below as well as all the links to the products that I used on this project. I hope you like it and please let me know what you think. And please check out the other ladies from the design team as well from the Wild Bunch. I want to thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful week. And I will have some pictures at the end of this video. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.